I think this clip persona f- or kind of represents the shift from when Brendan Shaw and Joe Rogan's friendship kind of went awry, in my opinion. Again, from my crappy opinion, all the way from London, detached from everything. I don't know anything that's going on over there. I'm a complete stranger. But from my opinion, I think this is where it went south. And I also think this represents, in my opinion, an example of Brendan taking for granted what he was given. He was given the keys to the castle, like he presented a career on a silver platter, even though he has no business probably even doing the career he's doing because he's horrible at everything that he does. Enunciating, speaking, formulating ideas, being funny, you know, whatever, all that stuff. It's just not, it's just not where it should be at the moment. But it happened. He was given a gift. Cool, you take it and run. Instead of taking it and running, he just be honoured to have that thing. He kind of pissed it all up a wall or pissed in the sink. And one of the big relationship with Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan and Brian Cannon are probably the most two most important people in Brendan Shaw's life, and I think he takes takes it for granted. And this is a good example of him taking Joe Rogan's, Joe Rogan's friendship for granted and having loose lips, and basically saying the unthinkable on the podcast and the flipping, you know, whatever happened after the fact is hilarious too. So this is a clip I took from the Friday Kids subreddit, a roundup of the entire thing when Brendan Shaw said, um, you know, bald guys that slang dick and the subsequent fallout, which I think is what led to one of the small parts what led to the eventually crumbling of their relationship where they're not really the same anymore. Weston, guys, this is Weston coming for some relationship Weston advice. named after the hotel. <coughs> What's up, guys? I need some relationship advice. Gang, bro. I'm serious. Theo, you might not get this because you have those locks. Brendan, I at least know you have hair. What do you do when you have a great personality? You can get any girl you want. We'll take yeah, it easy. My Kia Soul. And yeah, that's a car seat in the back. Don't worry, no, no babies are in it. Gang, bro. What do you do when you're trying to get a girl and you can get them? With your personality and your looks. When you're wearing a hat. Mm. But as soon as you take that hat off, gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Help a brother out. Gang, gang, bald, bald. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, I I know some bald fucking dudes are slanging dick out there. Look at Dana White, Rogan. Uh, that's it. <laughs> it's tough, Look man. at the faces. Look at the faces. That is the most classic of all time. The most classic of all time. They could all see like, oh my God. Oh my God. Chin, head down, cat. He didn't just say that. Um, what's his name? I forgot that guy's name. Um, the guy that doesn't get shape ups. One of the only black guys that doesn't get, you know, you know, black guy dudes that don't get like shape ups or fades. Something about them just annoys me. Like the guys just just wake up with their headline the way it is. I forgot his name anyway. But whatever. he's a comedian, right? He's, he's I think he's funny too. We actually like him. But look at his face. Holy shit! Holy shit! They know. Like, excuse me. So this is for me. For me, right? This is a funny thing. Yeah, that's what we're saying in the chat. This was pre-recorded too. So this is the this is the other thing that again I show I tell you that I think this to me represents why I think people some people hate Brendan. Because he took for granted not only his relationship with fucking um Joe Rogan, he also lived a reality where just the just doing the bare minimum was good enough. Not even checking the quality of his content. Because we learned from BGL that he doesn't record his shows. He doesn't take notes from his shows, he doesn't play them back. The only time he, he listens to his sets again is when he's doing um, content for online, right? Social media shit. But he doesn't review any of his content, which makes sense now. When you listen to his comedy, you can tell this is somebody who doesn't actually listen to his sets and listen to what, what, what reaction or if this is funny or not. Doesn't have any idea. And his podcast even, there is no quality control. There's no editing, zero. They just go. And this is representative of it. So you know, he not only took for... And again, everyone's reaction also for me proves... This is like a needs to know secret. You know what I mean? This is like a a thing that people in the inside know. Like, yeah, Joe Rogan lays it down. You know what I mean? Allegedly. But you never say it because it's fucking Joe Rogan. You keep your fucking mouth shut. Do you know what I mean? Especially if you're fucking Brendan Shaw. But this guy took it, took it for granted. Loose lips, loose limps, limps, loose lips, sink ships. And he's definitely not the guy that you want around, you know, when you're doing your illicit activities because he cannot keep secrets. Look at this. Horrendous. And the funny thing is, what have you ever heard? Think about this, right? Think about this. Think about this. In the entire history of Joe Rogan being on the internet or being on a podcast or having a podcast and being a presence on the internet, when's the last time you heard anybody insinuate that Joe Rogan may be a bit of a player or something? When's the last time you heard that? I've never heard it. 
The only thing I heard at the time about Joe Rogan maybe like, you know, getting around town was um the early pods used to do with, uh, what's her name? There was that female doctor used to come on to the show sometimes. And people in the comments, especially when it was on YouTube, would say, ah, oh, they're flirting a lot. I forgot her name. She's she just a little bit like a rabbit. I forgot her name. She's like a doctor. That one. And there's another comic that was on Kill Tony, who used to open for Rogan a lot, who used to come on the show. Um, people used to say that about him too, right? Um, that he used to maybe, maybe he's fucking that open. I forgot her name. Uh, yeah, and the, yeah, and the Honey Honey singer. But yeah, Rhonda Patrick, the Honey Honey singer. Um, the girl is the, the girl, the girl that did Kill Tony, the little, the short one. She's kind of, she's kind of cute, cutey, looking, short looking, um, with a squeaky voice. And she, I think she, she won Kill Tony and was that she was like the kind of resident uh, comedian person doing a bit, a one minute thing every time. I think people are saying that maybe he might have fucked her as well. That's her name, Ali Makovsky. Thank you, chat. Big up Eddie D. Um, that's it. I can think of Honey Honey singer. Uh, Rhonda Patrick and um, Ali Makovsky. Those are the only people I can think of in recent memory of people insinuating that Joe Rogan, a, mad a married man with many children, may be involved with sexually behind the scenes. Only time in my life I've heard it. Even with Burt Kreischer being a fucking blowhard and a big mouth and never keeping secrets, all these type of people around him, Ari Shafir, no one has ever insinuated or alluded to anything of Rogan doing on the road or what he gets up to. Zero. Obviously, him being a man and being having access to what he has access to and being rich, maybe you could assume whatever you want to assume, but we never heard it. And the first time we heard it said in clear HD, full HK, full HD, 4K, whatever, was Brendan Shaw. It had to be Brendan Shaw. It had to be him, innit? It had to be him, the one saying it. It had to be Brendan. It's tough, man. No, also, definitely get good. a wig. Michael Jordan. Uh, most oh, black guys. hold up. Black dudes don't count. <laughs> we, we, that's, yeah, that's true. a style for them. For white people, it is... Uh, An affliction. Not good. It's not good. It's not good. Let's just be real. Feels it's not nervous. good when you're bald. Yeah. So Bald is like our diabetes. Ooh, I, re I feel that. You know what I'm saying, though? Absolutely. It's like a... You see, Chin and Cat are still like uh, are still kind of reflecting from what Brendan said. Whereas the De is it Derek? I think Derek guy is like is like trying to like you know go on like nothing's happened. Where is it? Chin and Cat are still basically like, uh, did our boss just say that? I like we without a job. Should we move back home or something? Uh, most black oh, guys. Hold up, black dudes don't count. <laughs> we, we, that's yeah, that's true. a style for them. For white people, it is uh, an affliction. Not good. It's not good. It's not good. Let's just be real. It's not good when you're bald. Yeah. So bald is like our diabetes. Ooh. Look, cat and cat and chin, especially chin. Chin is like, oh my god, I don't believe you said that about Rogan. Cat's still trying to hold it in. What's happening here? Ooh, Hilarious. I, I feel that. You know what I'm saying though, absolutely. It's like a mat, like it's like something that's it's frowned upon, will, milling around. And if it happens, it's like very, it's it very can, frowned upon. It's just alarming. Yeah. It's like always milling in the distance. I mean, he bought yeah. a wig. <clears throat> Um, it's very frowned upon yeah. in the uh, white community. But yeah. I think, bro, I think, uh, first of all, if you, you seem like an athletic guy, if you're like athletic goes better with bald than not athletic. <laughs> uh, although the owner yeah. of Amazon, he's not athletic. He looks good. Billionaire, bald But head. he also had to be a billionaire to get any fucking puss, probably. That's you know, a, uh, you know, uh, $25,000 a year Jeff Bezos, dude. He's just a... He's just an internet troll. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and a yeah, Chrysler yeah. 300. Yeah. Um, um, man, it's, I'm not mad at the wig game these days. We go to a restaurant. This dude has a fantastic wig. And it's it's a way to get a conversation started. Yeah. And also, here's one thing that I thought about. I've thought about coming out with some new wigs because it's mm -hmm. also like a fad that's been gone for so long that it's almost due for a resurgence. You know, I was watching some crime show yesterday or something, and some lady had a wig, dude. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, bro. But listen, all... But yeah, Josie's right here. Josie Masters. Damn, alcohol ages you so bad. Look how much younger Brendan looks here. Yeah, I was one of the people, I guess maybe because of my excessive partying, because I, I saw the bad effects of drugs, because I go out a lot, and I see people that get on it a lot, especially some of my friends, unfortunately. Um, but whatever it is. And I always used to think, oh, that's over. People are going overboard drugs don't no alcohol doesn't kill you or drug alcohol doesn't hurt you as much as drugs does but actually it does especially if you know drugs you have to spend quite a bit of money to purchase them. unless you're doing other shit alcohol is fairly cheap like you know by comparison and it's obviously ready readily, readily available so you can only imagine the turn it's done and imagine for brendan too the fucking weird thing as well he's only been drinking heavily for what the past five years or so it's not like he has a whole entire you know 
history of drinking from when he was like in his teens to mid 20s now he's been an athlete most of his life maybe he did drink i'm sure of it but he's never been a heavy drinker as much as as much as he's gotten now he's actually way more into drinking than before and look how quickly he's deteriorated over time like you know what i mean crazy man really really bad um but also this yeah it's it's just it's crazy it's, it's really alarming but most black girls wear wigs and they're dope yeah black girls wear wigs. yeah that's a good point you'll see a black girl with a wig sexy. oh dude i remember this one lady had a fucking champagne glass in it <laughs> you know for sure and it was like built into the style you yeah. know i saw one with serious radio in her hair yeah. also <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm what's crazy dude, one lady had a router i remember fucking getting <laughs> wireless up a signal wireless yeah. router i've seen her Around Santa Monica. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other thing is, though, I didn't know all black girls wear wigs because there's this pretty all black, black girls girl. don't wear wigs. Well, if they have like long hair, a lot of them have extensions or yeah. wigs. A lot, but this one girl came in, she had like dope red hair. Next day, she had green. I was like, damn, she just spent all night dyeing her hair. So I think what goes good with a wig, wig up, girl. is confidence. You got to have that confidence. So I'd love to see some nice toupees on a man. We see a man here locally that have a toupee on at dinner. At he lunchtime. don't give a fuck. We this laugh. Dude, yeah. We laugh. Yeah, that's not helping he laughs. the guy. <laughs> what? You can't tell the guy that we laugh, dude. That's not the part no, you No, no, I'm me. saying he laughs, we laugh <laughs> because. He knows he's killing it. He's like, and it's so obvious. He'll show up, and that bitch is just, he'll be like, What's up, boys? Yeah, what can day, I help you bro, with? One day he had it put into a little shark fin at the top. And I love that because you could take on a dance floor and be that kind of shark on the dance floor. You know how people tip their hats? He tipped his toupee to us and went, How you doing, boys? And I was like, yeah. Oh, there it is. There but it I'll is. say this if you, I think it, one thing is you can use it as a motivation tool to, say, to stay physically fit because a, uh, having no hair um, on your head is a but being physically fit, I think that kind of matches. That's kind of sexy. It's yeah. kind of sexy, right? Secondarily, you look like the UFC logo. Yeah, your head looks okay, bro. Dude, if I lose my hair, bro, I am never going to. Controversial opinion, because some of you are ragging on fear of being on the show. This, I thought, was the best Brendan Shaw content that he put out. The original lineup with him and Theo, the original premise of King and the Sting, of them ripping into each other for the opening segments. People sending him their rip, uh, what's it called? Um, something drip, their direct their drip or something. People sending in pictures of their mums to say if they're hot or not. People sending in pictures of their uncles. For me personally, I thought this was the best version of Brandon Shaw content because it was fun, it was loose. They were being silly. Um, he was taking the piss out of himself, or you know, he was happy to have people laugh at him because you know this is where fucking I think the Fat Patrick thing come from. In my opinion, this is the best version of King and the Sting. The best version also, I think, or the best content of Brendan's put out since maybe the first episodes of The Fire and the Kid. This is the best version he put out, for sure. For sure. And like, I listen to it all the time. And then it just went, choo. I'm working. I can die in peace. No problem. No, I, I accept my fate. I just accept it. Or, no, like the scene in fucking The Rings of Power where that annoying woman just stands there next to the fires and it comes in, golfs her. But then she's alive the next episode. Fuck Rings of Power. Anyway, look at that face. Look at that face. That I'm talking about. Because I'm talking to my very good friend, Theo Vaughn, who we both know Joe Rogan. I live in that context. I'm a moron. There's millions. That, 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 that sh show, this isn't bragging, is one of the biggest podcasts in the world. There's a ton of people <laughs> watching. Not everyone knows. Ah, only Brendan would take a fucking apology, a t take the section he's meant to be apologizing and setting the record straight to flex and say his podcast is one of the most listened podcasts in the world. This also may be, if somebody told me, again, we'll never know this, but if someone told me after this show, Joe Rogan's wife was like, yeah, fuck Brendan Shaw. He's a douche. I would believe that story. If someone said Joe Rogan's wife after this event, even though she was maybe, you know, weirdly, she liked J Brendan and actually, you know, appreciated his friendship with Joe. If she saw this and thought, you know what, fuck him. I won't be surprised. This is my relationship with Joe. Not everyone assumes my relationship with Dana Wyatt or Theo. I have no idea. When we're in the context of that show, I'm in this little studio. It's me and Theo talking. I got to do better. I've been doing podcasts way too long to let something like this affect. So this gentleman who's losing his hair goes, um, hey, man, I'm losing my hair. I'm worried I'm not going to get chicks anymore. Something to that. I forget his exact comments. Shout out to that guy. Um, I forget his exact comments. But in general, that guy is essentially what led to the break of your relationship, man. Essentially. Illusionary Commission. Yeah, no worries, bro. I'm only joking, man. I'm only playing with your brother. Come on. Have a sip of water. It's not that serious, bro. I wish I had, I wish I had a fucking green juice to drink, but it's all gone. Yeah, but I'm, I'm only playing, bro. It's all good. It was, I'm losing my hair. What should I do? 
And I go, man, don't worry about losing your hair. I know guys who are killing the game. Who your hair. You can't say hero. You can't say hair. Hair, not hair. Let's say, let's say that one more time. Why did you say it like that for? Losing your hair. I know guys who are killing the game. Man, don't worry about losing your hair. Oh, did you hear that gulp as well? Honestly, I'm picking up on so many things. He was fighting for his life. He had a dry gulp. That's the same gulp we heard when he addressed the um the Ari Hawani drum strikes. Remember? When he's like in the white he's like, and he's like, you know, he's tense. Like his throat is fucking on fire or something. Remember? That's the same throat gulp where he does where he's like worried and stressed out. He must have got absolutely destroyed behind the scenes. Rogan must have been blasting him hard on the phone. I don't know. What's a Tim Dillon, what's a Tim Dillon um, uh, impression of him? I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. That's, that's not cool, man. That's not cool, dude. You know what I mean? Like, he must have been going off on him on the phone or on text. It's like, oof. I know guys who are killing the game who are slanging dick. Now, if you just hear me say slanging dick, and this is the way people took it, which I, <laughs> looking at the clip, I get how you take it that way. Slanging dick means fucking girls, sleeping with many women. That's not what I meant by it, by at all. But I can get. <laughs> <laughs> he's even got the politician hand thing going on hiding his look oh i fucking love it i fucking love it how you get to that conclusion when you just watch the clip my contact saying slang and dick what i meant by that and this is me correct it now so there's no miscommunication there's no blurred lines i did not mean joe rogan is cheating on his wife joe rogan is one of my closest <laughs> dearest friends i wish everyone had a friend like joe rogan <laughs> That's a horrible defense, right? My friend isn't cheating on my friend isn't cheating on his wife. He's one of my closest friends. Okay? That doesn't give me the wife any confidence that he's not cheating. That's a horrible no, or am I reading too much into it? He doesn't cheat on his wife. Anything more? No? Okay. I talk to him damn near every day. Even I would never, never, ever Why is he laughing? Do anything anything to to bring any sort of harm his way or hate or attention especially on his wife his wife and my wife are friends that is ridiculous i bet they're not friends anymore yes and that's on me that's on me i gotta do better not talking about my personal friends like that back to this when i say guys slanging dick <laughs> what i meant is joe and i've referenced three guys if i think i'm i haven't seen the clip in a long since last week but three I don't watch social media. I haven't seen the clip. I don't know exactly what was said. Bruh, you're fighting for your life. One of your most important allies and friends in comedy. A person that quite possibly could say they handed you a career on a silver platter. You expose them. Even if it's not true, you insinuating that he's out here on the road, fucking, fucking comedy store, you know, hoochies and, you know, car park lizards and shit, whatever they're called, right? Come on, man. Come on. Yo, big up Chris Hutch in the chat. Yes, big up you too. Thank you for hanging out, my friend. Three guys. Joe Rogan, bald guy. Slang and Dick, crushing it. One of the best comics in the world. Biggest podcast in the world. Biggest show. Can we talk about just shows? You want to talk about Howard Stern? He ain't shit compared to Joe Rogan. You want to talk about any show you watch on TV? It ain't shit compared to Joe Rogan. That's Slang and Dick. That's killing the game. Dana White, another successful bald dude who is Slang and Dick, a.k.a. killing the Hey, hey, hey. Uche, Uche, Uche. No one's arguing that they're not doing that, right? Uche, come on now, my dear. No one's arguing that they're not doing that, okay? We can all guess that they probably are doing it. I'm just saying, Uche, imagine. Imagine you're Joe Rogan. And for the entire, for like the last, I don't know, 30, 40 years of your career, no one, and again, Uche, remember this. He's friends with Burt Kreischer. Burt Kreischer, in my opinion, is somebody you should never tell any secrets to. That guy, like, he looks like a real gossip queen. He was like, if you give him a fucking can of Stella, he'll tell you anything. Do you know what I mean? He, can, he spreads anyone's business. Like, we found out about Joe Rogan's official numbers from Spotify because of flipping his big mouth. Right? He even said in a podcast recently with his fucking, um, what's his name, with Irish Shafir, I think. Oh, um, Joe Rogan actually got paid like 300 mil from Spotify when everyone thought it was 100 mil. So he's not the person to tell secrets to. But none of those guys, none of them even insinuated that Rogan is on the road out there slanging dick. None of them. And the one person that he that does is this fucking guy who he's only known in the last ten years or so. If I was him, I'd be I'd be pissed too. I'd be pissed if I'm Rogan. The 
the one guy you introduced new into a circle. He wasn't in your circle before. He was outside the circle. Then he gets into your circle and now he's fucking exposing you. Like, shut the fuck up. I gave you your career. <laughs> I handed you a career on a silver platter and now you're fucking exposing me. You're making the fucking hot, the, the block hot. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So I have no doubt he probably is. Who knows? You know what I mean? But oh, I just love it. I love all of it. I love it. In the game, not meaning he is sleeping with many women. Oh. Slinging dick could be slinging dick to your wife. Could be just, <laughs> in general, kicking ass. That's on, that's on me. Slinging <laughs> dick to 90. Yeah, big up Chris Hutch for the four. Yeah, fund. yeah, big up Chris Hutch for the 499 Super Chat. I appreciate you, my friend. That's going straight to the beer and kit fun. We're going to get that in. When you see me next stream, twitching, you know where I'll go on, you know? Beer and kit fun directly. And I'm hopefully planning to go to Berlin again end of the month in March. Don't tell no one. Shh. So that should be for some more beer and kit fun over there also. 99.9% .9 of the people outside my circle of friends means fucking other girls cheating on your wives. My bad. <laughs> Not what I meant. Not what I meant at all. And Oh, yeah. It's our fault. The normie's fault, right? We, we interpret it wrong. In our dumb civilian brains, slinging dick means um, fucking other women, right? Sleeping around, being around, man around town. But in these elite comedians' brains, right, these guys up above there, it just means being a badass. It means being fucking, um, what's his name? It means being Cameron Haynes and running a marathon a day. That's what it means, right? Okay, cool, man. Cool. Listen, Joe Rogan's a very close friend. Very, very close friend. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm that stupid? Let's say yes, he was. We do. Know, we do, I think do it, that. I would announce it to the world like that to yes, millions of people. Would. You did it. You did it. Little, I know I'm a dumbass. Give me a little more credit than that. No, you're dumb. Give me a little more credit than no, that. No, you're I'm dumb. I'm trying to be funny. I fucked up. Uh, when it goes, you might be the dumbest person that has two degrees I've ever heard of in my entire life. The guy has allegedly has two degrees, a double. I don't know how. Maybe it's a sports thing, but this guy has two degrees. You are dumb, sir. Please. Your talent isn't smart, please. Let's be real. Goes to Dana White. I don't mean Dana. Haven't spoken years. I, I don't. I don't know him. I don't want to know him. <laughs> We're not friends. I have no idea what he does in his off. You suck him up still now, though, don't you? And he still dunks on you. Time he might live in Dubai with seven wives for all I know. I have no idea what he's doing. Again, that goes back to my point of guys who are bald crushing it. All I see is him. As far as a business crushing it, sold for a billion dollars worth four hundred, doing doing his thing, jet setting. <laughs> killing it my other example was jeff bezos who's one of the richest men in the world also the slanging dick problem with jeff bezos when you say slanging dick with jeff bezos he did just get a divorce <laughs> he, he cheated on his wife so that's a bad example the example should have been not slanging dick hey dude you're going bald don't worry about not getting chicks i know guys who are killing it in life and if you kill in life it usually attracts the other sex Man or woman, when you're being successful, that usually attracts people. That's what I meant. The three most successful bald guys I know. Yeah, exactly. Chilling guy. He never said Jeff Bezos. I think they brought it up as an example after the fact, but he never said Jeff Bezos. He said D Dana White and Joe Rogan. <laughs> and we know Dana White is known. You know, there's pictures of Dana White clearly, you know, in fucking, you know, going around with fucking women of the night. Like Dana White gets around town. And for the time he's slapping his wife in nightclubs. Do you know what I mean? That's another story for another day, but... <laughs> Jeff Bezos being the most rich. Dana White, Joe Rogan. That was the example. Um, I knew I had to address this when I saw it on World Star. It's it's so silly to me, and uh, I hate that I have to do. No, mate, you exposed one of the most famous men in the world for cheating on their wives on a podcast, mate, without encouragement. You can even edit the clip out. That's why it's on World Star because the most fa one of the most famous men in pop culture, in podcasting, entertainment, literally, like I said, the male Oprah, you exposed him to the world. Even if it's not true, you basically put smut on his name. That's why you have to address it. Of course you have to address it. What are you talking about? Like he's rolling his eyes as if like we made more out of it than anything it was. You said it. <laughs> Do this, but when, it, you know, it, it, it gets to my friend, Joe Rogan, he's like, I, I had no idea. Um, I tell you guys, I don't, I don't read comments. Oh, I really don't see a ton off, of stuff out there. Um, I have people I don't deal do with a lot of stuff media. Me in, re in regards to social media, YouTube. I, I've never seen a comment. I've never Fuck seen. Off. I don't look at. Maybe read the comments, mate. That might help you, honestly. Maybe read the comments, brother. That might actually help you. Numbers. I don't look at any of that stuff. Uh, I have people that do that. 
Um, <laughs> I look at news on there. Um, so this got brought to my attention when it hit World Star, and my brother goes, dude, check this bullshit out. I'm like, oh, my God. And then he gets to Rogan. Then we talk about it. I'm like, oh, this is this is ridiculous. That's not what I meant at all. Um, I'm a dumbass. Yeah, quite, I mean, who just said I did? Who just said I did the backdrop? Yeah, this is the backdrop sponsored by Showtime. This is Showtime money. Look at the angles. You got two angles, right? You got this angle, that angle. Look at the quality of the picture, even through my rubbish bit rate and my rubbish Wi-Fi connection and my rubbish computer. Look how much better this looks. The quality of it, the color balancing. The lighting, everything is sublime. The microphone, the audio is. <laughs> this is Showtime money. When Showtime was giving them a check to run this thing, look what they did. Like, beautiful, beautiful. Well, well done. And he absolutely fucked it by just phoning in the show, phoning in the show, not taking any real ownership of it, not doing no research, just kind of doing the bare minimum. And he basically got killed for it, innit? Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I find this hilarious, man. What absolutely brilliant. A brilliant, brilliant time in history.